<coughs> Hello, everybody. Excuse my cough. I'm getting a little winter time. Little <coughs> welcome back to Clumsy Clairvoyance. Ding, ding, ding. Let's ring the bell. Ooh, okay, we are in session. Okay, everybody. Today, well, welcome to Clumsy Clairvoyance. First of all, okay. If you have not seen this channel, visited it, seen any of the videos. My name is Sarah. I love to make um, paper deck readings, random ones, mixed ones, uh, with messages from your spirit guides and from loved ones, angels, whatever you might want to call them. Um, I also am deep into crystals and meditation work and also just um, spiritual knowledge of humans, okay? And I must say I have a great sense of humor. Anywho, on the subject of spirit guides. I wanted to do a video about the signs you will see, the symbols you, you will see personally when one of your spirit guides or angels is near you, okay? I think it's very important. So, let's begin. We're going to have three groups in front of you. Group number one, this will be all the way to my right. And this is the clear, or this is just crystal quartz, okay? Group number two, this is cute little moonstone little colorless moonstone and then group number three right here this is actually going to be the moss slash tree I get okay one of my favorite pieces um these are really cool they have lots of old energy in them lots of life lots of earth energy okay now like I said with this in mind I want you guys to think about your own messages your own symbols that you will see animals um images you know songs Think about all these things in your head and think about how your spirit guides can communicate to you, okay? So take your time, choose a deck, and let's begin. All right, everybody. Thank you for rejoining me. So for everybody that chose group number one. With the crystal quartz, okay? Crystal quartz in general is a natural amplifier. Crystal quartz also, it kind of beholds like truth, honesty, purity, purif purification. That's what I think of always when I see the crystal quartz. That's why I feel like a lot of people are so drawn to them because they're just so cool. They're, you know, just a pleasant looking white. Sometimes they're clear like this, but they are natural amplifiers. They're, um, kind of like the divine energy, kind of like, you know, that all white, all seeing welcome to the light type energy okay so let me take a look at your cards so we can go over the symbols that you will be seeing from your spirit guides when they are near you okay or the animals we're starting off with the animal deck and then i will go through them okay and then i'll pull the additional Parts the side, and then I'll go through each one, okay? Hmm. All right. Okay. Right away, I'm going to tell you guys, bears and boars, like really huge bears. These are animals that might even be one of your animal totems, okay? When you see these ones, um, spirit is trying to connect with you, okay? They have something to tell you. Seems like these are really, those are positive signs too. Like when success is coming in, you will be more forewarning you or kind of guiding you a certain way with that. Also, we got the spider and then we got the web weaver. You guys have some really great, um, just links, okay? The spider, the web weaver. This is all about your spiritual spark and it's also about synchronicities, okay? So when you guys start to see synchronicities going on, so you guys are one of the groups that I'm assuming that. It, you guys picked file number one, but you guys probably see two, two, two a lot, or three, one, three, or eleven, eleven. You know which are angel numbers. If you don't know what angel numbers are, they have their own meaning all in themselves. Look them up; they're very interesting. Okay, I almost said hello to the mirror. Okay, mirror, and then I also have the key. 
Okay, I feel like the mirror and the key are kind of coinciding as well. Okay, when you're looking at your reflection in the mirror, you're kind of looking back at yourself. So, one of your spirit guides, too, I kind of feel like is either like an old family ancestor or someone who looks a lot like you or you look a lot like them, however you want to verb it. But um, I feel like you guys favor each other, okay? So, like, next time you look in the mirror, know that the person who came back is one of your spirit guides. Okay, next, last but not least, you guys also have the bow, you guys also have the coffin. Don't be aware of that. I kind of feel like this is um symbolism to coffins, maybe, maybe it's just going to be straight coffins, okay? I also see hawks too, and without hawk prints energy, but I'm seeing maybe like a certain types of birds, maybe even like hoes, like maybe like the darker, kind of more gloomier looking birds, which all have their own meaning in themselves are going to be around when your spirit guides are trying to communicate with you so if you start to see pictures of them if you start to see them flying in the sky then that's you know them talking to you pay attention you guys also have the boat and then you guys have the camel because this they both represent travel okay there's your boat now camel trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges for you Okay, so if you see a boat or when you are voyaging, I also want to let you know that your um, spirit guide is with you. And they're encouraging you also to venture out, to travel. So, yeah, those are some of the symbols you can look for, okay, you guys? When you are being reached out from your spirit guides and angels, okay? If you have not, please go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let me know. Leave me some comments. Let me know how you like this video. If you guys have some suggestions, please feel free. I love and would love to keep hearing any ideas we might have for future videos. Okay. Thank you very much. Alright. Moving on to everybody that chose group number two. Okay. The Moonstone. Alright, guys. Group number two. Let's see. What symbols or what images, what things will be going on around you when your spirit guides are going to be trying to contact you, okay? I'm going to lay them out and then I'll go through them. Wow. You guys have a lot of cat energy. You guys are going to, I don't know if you guys already see cats often or tiger cheetahs, but it is covered in your cards. So very interesting. The ladies were lightning, okay? Very nice. That also represents um, like storms and stuff. The male and me, okay? Diamond dreamer, okay. So you guys have a few um, distinctive things you will see or representations. You'll see symbols, you'll see animals, you will see when your spirit guides are trying to communicate to you, okay? The biggest one with this group is the cats. Okay, I have a cat here. I have a cat here, I have the two here, okay? And I have a tiger here. I don't know if you're somebody who has cats or likes cats, or maybe even like when your spirit guides used to love cats, who knows? But they're choosing to communicate to you specifically through these cats or cat-like, you know, existences. You have the tiger. You know, this is all about being a leader. You have the cheetah, using your intuition. Um, and cats in general, I mean, they're very usually considered connected to the spiritual realm. So when you see his cats, stop what you're doing. Or when you're hanging out with your cats, pay attention to their mannerisms, okay? You also got, um, you got a tower and you got a bird. So, but the tower, the clock tower you have, it's very like, it almost looks like a churchy kind of tower, okay? And then you also have the cross. So when you see these, I'm seeing like almost like a cross or a sideways cross. Okay, so when you start to see a cross or even maybe a, a misshaped cross or something that looks like a cross but it's maybe diet, you know, it's at a different angle or anything like that, that's also your spirit guide, okay? And the number eight is popping out at me. It's my favorite number. And I don't know if this is gonna pertain to you guys, but if you see the number eight, for sure, okay? And then we also have the Lady of Lightning. I feel like if when storms happening or when lightning happens or when you see a lightning cloud on TV or, you know, read about it in a book, that's a way, again, that your spirit guides, 
your angels are going to try to reach out to you, okay? And then we also got the Diamond Dreamers, so in your dreams, okay? I feel like you're, this group is highly spiritual, okay? You might already be doing some spiritual work or you astral project or you might be into reading tarot. I don't know what it is, but I feel like you guys are just highly spiritual, especially, again, with this uh, Diamond Dreamer card, okay? So also in your dreams, your spirit guides will be reaching out to you. All right, that's all I have for group number two. Please make sure you like and subscribe. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, I'd also love, love, love to hear it. I love hearing your guys' suggestions, okay? That's it for group number two. See you guys later. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> I'm hacking up. I'm hacking up my life here. Okay. <coughs> I'm just getting over this cough. All right. So everybody that chose group number three, the triage, okay, one of my favorites. Um, just so you know, in India, a lot of people consider this a talisman stone. It is very personal. It is very um, protective. It's very good for uh, people who have healing issues with their home life or their family or their inner child. Okay, it also helps communication and to really deeply connect to the earth. Okay, to Gaia energy, Mother Earth energy, whatever you'd like to call it. Okay, so we are going to look at your cards and see what symbols will be around when. Your spirit guides are trying to talk to you, so you know. <laughs> you see in red right away, just so you guys know, okay? The color red for sure. Oh yeah, you guys, you guys might need fire signs. Maybe also, and then you guys got the ice queen too. Interesting. Fire and ice baby and river. The elements baby. Let's see what else we got. The road runner. Very nice. Platypus. That's your road runner. And the condor, okay. Now I'm getting a lot of elemental vibes. I'm gonna tell you why. I have the ice queen here, and I have the river queen here, okay. Then over here I got lots of fire, okay. And then the, one of these over here almost looks like it's a windy day outside in this um, with the seven of hearts, okay. But so very much the your spirit guides are gonna connect with you through earth wind fire okay you guys might even like be earth signs and you know whenever you like feel that gust of wind or you know you see that wave in the ocean or even you know you see you just notice a beautiful tree out your peripheral vision okay roses gardens um definitely with the color red too i'm definitely seeing this for you guys okay they're going to speak to you through gardens through the ocean through all the elements of earth okay and when you do start to pick up and notice this, pay attention because they have specific messages for you, okay? Also, with you guys, anything with letters or researching, okay? They are with you whenever you're writing or you're researching, okay? Or this might be something they want you to start doing, okay? Maybe just kind of starting to take notes or getting a new hobby that involves, you know, having to take notes or writing things down. Now we got the platypus. I love it because both of the both of these and the roadrunner. So when it, these two uh, spirit animals too, what I like about them is they have good senses of humor. Okay, it's about kind of taking yourself a little bit more lightly. But whenever you see these animals, or you get that sense of like you know lightheartedness, let, just also so you know your spirit guide is with you at that time. Okay, completely, completely. And that's gonna be it for. What I have for you guys, I believe, for symbols, like I said, fire, you do have the swan and the condor. Let's go over that real quick. Hold on. Or the stork, I mean. So we have the stork and the condor. Do not forget the your bird signs, okay? When these two birds show up, and they're kind of like stoic birds. Well, actually, they're different. I definitely say the condor is much more like, you know, rugged. But they're both, I want to say, sturdy birds if that makes any sense <laughs> they're both they're both very um strong in their spiritual like connotation like what they mean for example the condor um you're too embellished in the situation to step back see the bigger picture before making decisions you know this is about getting a different view from things all right 
But that's going to be it for all you guys that chose group number three. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you have not done so already. I would love, love, love to hear if you guys have any comments as well. If you guys have any ideas for future videos, like, I'm totally all for it. Okay? And that's going to be it for you. You guys have a great day, okay? Thank you so much.